I think I need another bit of my tea before I start. It's a good Yorkshire cup of tea. my channel now I do apologize I haven't uploaded anything in the last month I've just had a lot on in November and I just didn't feel like filming so I do apologize but I'm now back and I've come back with a pretty big order um I thought I'd do a massive Avon order and it is quite big I don't think I've ever spent over 100 pound on Avon before and there was nothing I really needed it's just mainly like gift sets perfumes and it's just everything half price because it's coming up to Christmas so I just thought I'd show you guys like, what I got they might be on the website so you might be able to get a bargain um but yeah I will leave everything if I can in the descriptions down below I do also have a very cheeky Black Friday Beauty Bay order now that is a very small one which I really couldn't do a haul on so I will leave the products I got from Beauty Bay at the end of this video but I think I've rubbed it on quite a bit so yeah please do give me a thumbs up and I'm just going to get straight on to the video so not only did I get one bag from Avon I also got two bags which is yeah quite pricey or should I say overboard I really didn't need anything so I think we start off with accessories and then makeup after so the first thing I got which I am kind of disappointed in um, I think it's because I mainly wanted the owl mug that I ordered which was like a ceramic massive owl mug and obviously that was out of stock so they sent me a replacement and just charged me the same price for the owl mug yeah, I'm not quite sure if I really like this mug. Um, so that is this really cute polar bear mug. Now it is small, but apparently it's meant to change something which that doesn't actually quite help with the description, but it's meant to change something so yeah keep out on my instagram account because i'll probably be testing it out quite soon but it's just a very small polar bear mug and i think i'd be surprised if i can get a full cup of coffee or tea in there it's very very small but as i said i really wanted my owl mug i didn't have it i think i'm just a bit disappointed because i wanted that more and not this this was in the brochure um i think this was 12 pounds but i only got charged eight pounds because my owl mug was eight pounds and obviously that was in this stock and this was a replacement so yeah don't know what it does apparently it's meant to change something we will give it a go and i will do a little video on my instagram account i'll leave the name down below so i've got a really cute mug and then i also picked up a bag now again i ordered two bags one was out of stock it was more like a brown tote bag and I can totally see why it was out of stock. It was like £25 down to £8, which again was a very big bargain. And yeah, that didn't come. That was out of stock. So I got this one, which is a Duo Fox Soul Detail Cross Body Bag. This is the one ideally I wanted the most. This looks absolutely beautiful on the brochure book. So it just comes just like this. I absolutely love the details on the front. And it's a really nice baby pink sort of colour. Then you just open it up. It does come with a quite a long um, body strap, which again I loved. And again, it is detailed. And then you've just got like a medium size space in the bag, which would be perfect just for putting your handbag in. Um, your handbag in, your purse in, and your phone. And you could also get away with putting a travel size purse um, perfume in there and again this was I think £35 and I only paid I think I even paid £12.50 or £15 I really don't have the brochure now which is annoying um, but if I can I will find this bag on Afon and I'll just link it in the description box 
but yeah I really love this bag and I'm so pleased it's added to my other thousands of bags that I have in the wardrobe. If you watched my Avon order from last December you would have known I purchased an earring advent calendar I think it was Addy or Eddie um, mate and again I absolutely love the advent calendar you had earring scene that was perfect for Christmas but also earring scene for all year round which in my eyes is a perfect advent calendar so you use it all year round really and not just Christmas so I came across another one and this is the Nordic Nile advent calendar gift set you get a necklace in with this and 12 interchangeable pendants and 13 pairs of earrings which again I only paid £10 for this so you're getting quite a lot of jewellery for your item and I just love the detail of this advent calendar gingerbread house yeah I just love this and what I like about Avon this year is they've done it in a way of when you open these boxes it can be a bit tricky to actually get the earrings out if obviously you've seen my video last year um, it was quite tricky to get those earrings out of the packaging I mean I had to do some damage to the box but Avon this year has done a very funky way of you can just lift it up and you have your jewellery in front of you which is I find really really good so obviously you have your pendants at the top and then you have the earrings at the bottom and as I said they are perfect for all year round you've got some normal ones some Christmassy ones so yeah I'm really pleased I picked this one up and again this was only £10 and what I find really good with this advent calendar is if you've got a little niece um, a sister or a daughter and you don't want to get them chocolate advent calendars then I think this would be really really perfect for them again it's just a little small item of jewellery and yeah £10 proper bargain moving on to jewellery I purchased two items which I can't really show it in this video because a certain person watches my videos and they will see their Christmas presents so unfortunately I can't show you mine either because that kind of gives it away so after Christmas I will put up a picture on Instagram of what the item is but these were absolutely stunning and what I like is that you've got the same product but you can change different um, colours so again these were £4 each um, but these were massive bargains because I think these were like over £10 I'm not really sure so yeah I'm pleased I got one of those and then I also picked up a watch now I've been looking at this Lipsy watch in the brochures for quite a while now and this was I think this was either £35 or £25 and they reduced it down to £10 and I just had to snap it up now I thought again this would be out of stock so I'm really surprised I've got this it is such a stunning watch and that is this gorgeous and I mean gorgeous I really can't wait to wear this I've had this order for about 3-4 days and I've really wanted to wear this and I haven't I've been quite good so this watch just comes just like this it's absolutely beautiful and what I like about it is it's quite a slim wrist fit so I'm not going to have a very chunky wristband on my wrist that's going to make the watch feel really really heavy so it just comes just like this I really do love this this is such a stunning watch and to only get it for £10 um, is a big bargain and again I just thought this would be a really cute Christmassy present so yeah I picked one of these up and I can just accessorise this with a lot of outfits so again this is just going to be perfect as you all know I love my shower cream products from Avon I love the Blue Lagoon, the Citrus scent there's quite a few but the main one I absolutely love is this limited edition indulgent African treasure this has vanilla and white flowers with shea butter extract and it smells amazing I love this product loads oh I could just sit here all day and just smell this it just smells really really nice and this normally retails for £2.99 and for, for a 500ml bottle sorry I only paid 
£1.25 which again is a massive massive bargain I really should have picked up some more now I'm gutted I didn't but I absolutely love this shower product moving on to perfumes from Avon now I'm not going to lie a couple years ago Avon's perfumes were really really bad that's just my own opinion um, I used to purchase quite a bit of Avon perfume and they just didn't smell really really nice so I was quite surprised when you know you got those little rub patches in the books and the perfume just smelled amazing well I had to buy some perfume didn't I and oh my god they just smell amazing I've tried them out already and yeah you wouldn't actually think they were from Avon you think you'd spent money from the perfume shop or Debenhams or the fragrance direct store um, yeah, um, I have to say, Avon's really up in their game lately with the perfume, etc. So the first perfume I picked up, which I absolutely love, and that is the Far Away Rebel, again by Avon. The packaging of this perfume is absolutely beautiful. So it just comes just like this, and again, it just smells oh, like heaven. It reminds me a bit like, is it this one? Yeah, this one. It reminds me a bit like Chimichoo. Now, I've had Chimichoo perfumes before and I love the brand. But this really does remind me of Chimichoo. I don't know why. I think it's just like the scent. It's a really nice, not overpowering scent. It's it's quite hard to describe. I'd highly recommend it. It's, it smells that nice. And again only paid six pounds and you wouldn't even think this perfume as I said was from Avon it is such a gorgeous smell I then also purchased the mesmerized red for her on Avon and one more saying on Avon because it's all from Avon um but again this just smelled oh my god so nice I mean I've been wanting this for a while and I know it's gonna sound really really bad but I wasn't going to justify paying I think it was £14 or £15 when I know Christmas was coming up and you can get it half that price I only paid £6 for this so as I said in, if, you, if you want something just wait that little extra weeks because when Christmas comes everything just halves the price but again this just smells amazing you know when you just wish there was a camera you could actually smell it on the opposite side because oh, it smells good it's one of those strong scent ones so if you don't like strong perfumes I really wouldn't recommend getting this one and you would think it was an Avon perfume and I only paid six pounds for this I mean just look at the packaging it's absolutely beautiful so I'm I am excited I got this one and I'm gonna be using this quite a bit the last perfume I picked up from Avon was one that I've never really came across before but again the little rub patch in the book really smelt beautiful so I just had to get it, try it, it again it was £6 and that was the Amari perfume and this packaging I just love this is such a cute little bottle I mean just wow that is absolutely stunning I just like this small it's like an elegant glass bottle I just love it and again this is quite a strong perfume yeah a very very strong perfume this one and I need some more arm room for this one oh it just smells so nice I'm just gonna smell like the body like the perfume shop for the next 20 minutes of this video it's just going to be, my partner's going to ask me, what am I wearing that you want? And I'm going to go, well, I've got a few perfumes on. Four, including the one I've had on since this morning. I just love perfume and they just smell really, really nice. And again, all three products were £6 and I just love them. Moving on to skincare. I love Avon skincare. Now, you've probably seen me use this brand quite a bit and that is the Planet Spa range. Holy moly! They have bought out some freaking beautiful scent products and yeah, I'm going to be smelling like the body shop by the end of tonight. 
So the first one which I got which was a free, I think you get free products for £9 which work out cheaper because if you paid for them separately you're paying over £15. So I got the deal. first item I picked up from Planet Spa was the Planet Spa Indulgent Spa Ritual with African Sheer Butter Chocolate Truffle Silky Body Smoothly and it smells amazing. It does smell like chocolate. Oh. It is like a dupe version of the Body Shop uh, Body Butter. It just smells amazing. And I do love my Body Shop. So, yeah, I'll be smelling like the Perfume Shop by the end of time and the Chocolate Factory. And the Body Shop. Mm. Yeah, I just love that. So, I got one of those. I also picked up the Planet Spa Indulgent Spa Royal with African Sheer Butter and Brown Sugar body sugar scrub and again this just smells amazing I've got so many products to wash in now it's going to be hard to choose what to wash in later on oh it smells really really nice and I got one of those as the third gift the third product for the um deal you get like this body sponge exfoliating thing which will come in very handy because I do tend to sell tan so this will come in very handy when I exfoliate. So yeah, all three of those products came to £9 in total instead of over £15, which again was a massive bargain. And you also get um, a few free items, which one of them was this Planet Spa Radiant Gold with Gold and Oud face mask. And this just, yeah, I can't wait to have a face mask now. It just smells amazing. And again, this was 50 mil and this was a free gift. And then as another free gift, you also got a Cherish limited edition perfume, which I'm not gonna spray because you can't smell it. And I do, at the minute, smell like the body shop. So it just comes just like this. It's more like a travel size perfume. Um, again, it's a really nice floral scent perfect if you're going away for the evening and you just want a small perfume just to pack away that's that would be an ideal um product to put away and then the last free gift you received is the avon advanced techniques treatment mask which is a hair mask um i probably won't end up using this um my hair is severely damaged where i've bleached it dyed it and there's a lot of hair shampoos I could use before my hair just does not agree with them now so there's only one that make I use that seems to be going okay that hair mask seems to be working on my head so I'm not going to interrupt my hair routine with another product that's going to make my scalp dry but I know someone who will use this so this will come in very handy for someone and then the next couple of items again are from the Planet Spa range I just love the Planet Spa, that's all I can say, it's my favourite skin product and if it's on a sale and I can get a bargain, I'm just going to get a bargain. So the first three items that I've purchased, which I am, I'm not quite happy about, if I've got to be honest, um, in the brochure it was showed as it was packaged, like as a gift set for Christmas, because um, that's what it was mainly in, it was in the Christmas gift set section. Um, so I thought perfect, that will come in very handy. But when it arrived, it didn't come gift fat at all. It just came in the individual um, boxes, which I would be quite disappointed if it was actually for someone for Christmas, but as it's myself, I'm not gonna complain too much. But those are the Planet Spa hand creams. Again, all three for eight pounds, which is a massive bargain for Planet Spa range. And one of those are the Treasures of Desert with Moroccan Argan Oil Restoring Hand Cream. This sounds really, really good. You then also have the Blissfully Nourishing with Africa Sheer Butter Hand Cream. I really cannot wait to try this one out because I just love Sheer Butter. It is a really good um, product and for hand cream as well. I know my hands can be very moisturised, not dried out, so I really can't wait to try that one. And then the last hand cream I got was the Relaxing Puffin Spa with Lavender and Jasmine Hand Cream. I will probably tend to use this just before I go to bed. The Planet Spa um, Relaxing range, like the Sleep Mist, 
is really really good i sprayed some of that on my pillow and i'm out within 10 minutes the last palette spa um product i bought was this greek seas with algae extract and sea salt smoothing polish body polisher and again this just smells very very strong oh it smells really really nice it's like peppermint but it's not peppermint because it's like greek algae but I know my skin is going to so benefit from this range. It is such a brilliant skin product. I'd highly recommend Planet Spa. Um, I just love them. And again, this was in the clearance book for, I think it was £1.25. I did buy the cleanser one. Um, same size of this one, same product. But just the cleanser. But obviously that one had sold out so I could only get this one. I also got two other freebies which I can't remember what for, what I purchased but again it was just another Cherished Perfume and a Planet Spa Radiant Gold with Gold Oud face mask and again they were freebies. Then the last items I picked up is makeup and I really didn't need any more makeup. I've fully overfilled my Alexa 5 drawers to the point I need some new um, drawers and yeah I'm running out of storage but yet again I've bought more makeup so that's not good but when you see a bargain you have to pick the bargain up am I not right it's like if something's full price and the other week is half price and you know you're going to use it then I'd rather just pick it up there and then but I somehow came across another lot of freebies because I don't remember purchasing these so two of these freebies are nail files, nail varnishes. Um, one of them is Naked Truth, which, as I thought, it is a very plain brown nudie colour. And then the other one is called Descendant, and I'm not quite sure on this one. I probably won't be using this colour. It is quite a metallic purple colour. Um, these shades really aren't for me. So, but I know someone who will use them, so that won't come in to waste. And then I also came across this Avon lip liner in the shade Nude. So there's some lipsticks that in here, yeah, I remember now. So again, it just comes in this nude colour and... Yeah, as I thought, it is a very brown nude lip liner. Be perfect before I apply lipstick on etc. So I picked up one of those. So there should be a lipstick in here, I'm assuming. Because I only purchase four lipsticks. So yeah, there is a lip, there is a lipstick. So there's two lipsticks, one in the shade nude, which will which is obviously a pad for the lips liner. Wow, I love this nude colour. This is such a really stunning nude colour. And again, oh, it's more like a pinky colour. I'm quite shocked. It's a very pink nudie sort of colour, which, okay. That probably won't go with the lip liner, which, no, it doesn't. So, we have a nude lipstick. I don't remember purchasing that. And then we also have another nude one in the sparkling nude shade. Best thing about fake, fake nails. They don't take a while to get into the packaging and my floor, wow. This looks more like it. So again, this is quite a very sparkling nude colour and again this is gonna yep yeah, that is an absolute perfect shade for that but probably won't be able to quite um see the colour but it's just this one here it's just a very shimmery nude but it just works very very well with that lip liner that's that's a very good lipstick and again it's I think I've already got this one actually they just changed the packaging um yeah, I didn't want that. Thank God I put the lip 
the lid on. The next four lip shades I picked up was quite vibrant colours. I've never really gone to wear these colours before, so I don't know how they're going to go um, on my lips. They probably won't suit me, but hey ho, we give it a go. So the first one is a lipstick which all four of these um, were advertised in the book. They don't cake your lips, they, they don't dry out, they just um, apply nicely onto your lips and they just form it into like a really matte texture which we will test and review because I've bought quite a few lipsticks in the past and they do tend to cake and the matte ones don't stay um, matte for long. So the first shade I've got is the Wine With Everything which is quite a very purple colour. And again just comes in this really fancy black plain packaging. Okay, that's the most darkest lipstick I probably own. Um, so it just comes just like this. It is such a stunning. I love that. That is a beautiful shade. So it's this one here, and yeah, I really do love that. And again, that is wine with everything. That one is perfect for autumn. And then the next one I got is. Velvet Raspberry. Again, it looks like the same shade. This one could be a lot darker actually. This packaging is changed. It's a very velvet matte packaging. Like, can you see the, the difference? You've got one shiny packaging and then you've got one very matte product, which I quite like that packaging. That is quite a very fancy packaging. But it looks very, very similar to the other lipstick I've just well, my swatching is quite bad so it's this one here and again it is a very bright purpley colour which is way out of my comfort zone I've never really gone for very vibrant colours I tend to stick to my, at my nudes so I'm giving it a go I'm, I'm trying new colours before 2019 so yeah this one is Velvet Raspberry. And then the last two lipsticks I purchased are nude lipsticks. So I've got one in shade Marvelous Mocha. Again, is that very swanky packaging? Oh, that is a perfect nude. I love that nude. It's a very brown, neutral, nude colour. I really do love that. And it's not his hand. I love that colour. That nude. Lipstick will work really well with that lip liner. Yeah, I really do love that. So again, that is Martha's Mocha. And then the last lipstick I've got is Lush Cocoa, which again is going to be a dark nude. And again, it's in that swanky packaging. It's just a dark nude colour, which again, I love. I love nude colours. And again, this is the Lush Cocoa one. I really do love that. That is such a stunning colour. The final product I picked up from Avon is some bronzing pearls, which I've never really used before, um, to be honest. So these are the Glow Bronzing Pearls, and I've just got the Warm Glow Shade. And they just come just like this. And then take the sponge off. I won't be using that. And then you have your Warm Coloured Pearls. Um, which will just be ideal for bronzing and these were five pounds and the lipstick sorry were five pound each and you got a free gift thing which was the cherish um perfumes so that is my avon order completed now i don't think i've done too bad there was as i said a lot of items i really didn't need so yeah that is my massive avon order i i think this was quite the biggest one I've done, as I said, it was it came to a hundred and something pounds, which is quite expensive. I've never done that before, Avon. So moving on to the items I've had since Monday, and I'm filming this on a Friday night, so I've had this all week. I've had poorly little ones, so I haven't been able to film. So this has been sitting in my corner, and I've really wanted to test this out, and I can finally test it out. So this is my small Beauty Bay order. It is very small compared to the last couple of Beauty Bay um, 
orders I've done. As I said, it was just a very cheeky Black Friday purchase. I'm very, very excited. I think I do the small products first and then move on to the big two items that I purchased that I really wanted. So the first two items I purchased from Beauty Bay, which I wanted to buy for a while, but I haven't been to my local super drugstore for a while. So I just picked these up at Beauty Bay. Um, these were five pounds full price. I only paid £3.50 so I was quite pleased with them and that is the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter range. I freaking love Makeup Revolution makeup um, items. Yeah, holy moly they are really really stunning. Um, I love these highlighters so I've got one in the Ice Kiss shade and again it will just look absolutely beautiful. I mean, wow. I just absolutely love this highlighter. You can't go wrong with Makeup Revolution highlighters. They are really, really good. So I got the one in Ice Kiss. And then I also picked up the one in Frozen Kiss. And again, you really don't need a lot because it's so pigmented. And then... I just love them. I really do love them. They're just so stunning. And for five pounds normally, full price, they are such pigmented highlighters. I really do like these. I then also picked up a BH Cosmetic Bronzer. Not like I needed any more bronzers at all, but I just love the packaging. This is such a stunning packaging. And then again, you just open it, and there's my bronzer. I've got this in the shade Coco Cutie and this would just be perfect for when I'm tanned. This was £2.50 I think. So it wasn't dear at all. Um, but I picked my face up and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that. And then the last two items I picked up which was the whole idea of this cheeky little Black Friday um, purchase was these palettes and oh my god these shades are so pigmented. And that is, one of them is the Manny MUA Lice A Drag Palette. This is beautiful. This is, it's one of those palettes that you really don't want to touch, but yet again, you really can't wait to test the product. I love the packaging. It is such a stunning packaging. It is a bit chunky, I'm not going to lie, and a bit heavy, um, but it won't get damaged when you're travelling, etc and you open it and there's your shades how freaking stunning is this palette i really cannot wait you've got your warm neutral shades to your vibrant in your face shades i love this palette you've got your mattes your shimmers yeah um i'm so pleased i really cannot wait to test this palette out i think there's going to be a video coming very very soon because this palette is going to get a lot, a lot of use out of. And this is, I think this is £37 normally. And I only paid £18.50 for this. So a massive bargain and I really cannot wait to test his palette out. And then the last palette I purchased, which I have looked at, I'm not going to lie. And I really don't want to use this either. And that is the Violet Foss Pro Eyeshadow Hashtag Palette. This is absolutely, again, stunning. That's all you're going to hear from me. It's absolutely stunning, gorgeous. Beauty Bay takes good pride in their packaging because this was packed so well. It wasn't going to get broken. It wasn't going to crumble. Just look at this packaging. It is so beautiful. And what I like is it's magnetic, so you just open it, shut it, I love the little sand, so it comes just like this and then it has a very nice decent sized mirror which again I love, wow, I really do love these shades, again you have your mattes, your shimmers, you've got some warm tones, some vibrance in your face colours, I really do love this palette and this is the whole reason why I've done a little cheeky order. 
I really cannot wait to get more of the Violet Foss palettes because again this is such a stunning palette and it's going to be a video coming soon using this palette I think. I just love the Truth Shade, the Lady Boss, the Vacancy, Goals, Relevant, Pretty, AF, Living. And then I think I'm going to swatch the Pretty AF one. I could say the actual full name but I'll probably get done on YouTube so it'll be good. Oh wow, I love that shade. That is such a stunning shade. And then again, I'm just gonna swatch that one. Oh, I just love eyeshadows that are so, so, so pigmented. <laughs> yeah, it just makes me happy because I know I've purchased something and it's gonna be so, very, very, very good. And then I think the last one I will swatch is Truth, which is this one. Wow, that is pigmented and then I'm do it right here. I really can't wait to test out this palette the colours are stunning the packaging the, the palette is stunning the packaging is stunning everything's all stunning this is normally £48 I think I could be wrong um, but I did pay £30.50 for this I, I really cannot wait to try the rest of the Violet Forest palettes because this is such a stunning palette and I really cannot wait to use this. That is everything from this massive Avon slash small beauty bay haul. I really do hope you have enjoyed watching this video. As I stated, I do apologise I didn't upload anything last month. I am now back. There will be videos going up again very, very soon, so stay tuned. And yeah, please do give me a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching. If there's any videos recommendations you'd like me to do, then just please leave them in the comment section. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, um, please do hit that subscribe button and please do hit that notification bell to be updated when my new videos have been uploaded, etc. But yeah, I am done for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all soon for a brand new video. Bye!